About a decade ago, Tesla started selling something called Full Self-Driving, or FSD. It wasn't just another software option, it was a statement of confidence. Tesla said every car it produced from 2016 onward had all the hardware necessary for full self-driving. You paid once, and your car would get smarter through software updates. Many people believed that. They paid thousands of dollars, sometimes adding Tesla FSD before even receiving the car. They weren't just buying a feature. They were buying into the idea that Tesla could deliver full autonomy through updates alone. Fast forward to today, most of those cars run on what's called Hardware 3. But Tesla's latest self-driving stack FSD 14 now runs on Hardware 4, a much faster and more capable chip. The new system has better cameras, improved sensors, and higher processing power. That's where the problem begins. FSD versions, such as the latest FSD 14, built for HW4, can't fully run on HW3 cars and many early owners, the ones who paid for full self-driving, are now being told their hardware might not qualify for the latest updates. When these owners ask for a hardware upgrade, the answers are vague. Tesla has acknowledged that a retrofit path might come, but there's no clear timeline, no confirmed price, and no guarantee that it will even happen. Some owners are being told to simply buy a new Tesla. It feels like this. You paid for a lifetime gym membership, Years later, the gym adds a brand new pool. It but then tells you it's only for new members. You can still work out, sure, but not in the part you were most excited about. From a technical standpoint, Tesla's challenge is real. The new FSD neural networks demand more processing power than HW3 can handle. Camera layouts changed, wiring harnesses evolved, and validating safety across different hardware adds complexity. Upgrading millions of cars would cost billions of dollars and take enormous time. But this issue isn't really about chips or cost. It's about credibility. Tesla's 2016 promise that every car had the necessary hardware for autonomy is being tested by time and technology. What was once a confident claim now looks at best overly optimistic. And when a company sells the future, optimism becomes a liability. People didn't just buy FSD for convenience. They bought it because they trusted Tesla's word. When that trust is shaken, it affects more than just sales. It touches how people see the brand, how they interpret every future promise. There are ways to deal with this. Tesla could offer early FSD buyers a discounted or even free upgrade to HW4. It could introduce transparent tiers clear information on what HW3 can and can't do. Instead of leaving owners guessing, it could tie trading credits directly to FSD purchases, rewarding early support instead of resetting the bill. Or at the very least, Tesla could publicly commit to a roadmap, one that explains what's next for legacy hardware. None of these are easy or cheap, but they're the kind of gestures that rebuild faith. Because the real question isn't whether HW3 can run the latest FSD code. The question is whether Tesla still stands by the people who believed in it first. In the end, technology moves fast. Chips get outdated. Systems evolve. That's normal. What's not normal is making your most loyal customers feel like they were on the wrong side of history. Let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching Renewable Tech, where we explore how technology drives the world forward.